gentlemen to the Uncancelled Podcast. I'm Grizz, and these are my amazing friends here. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. How's it going, everybody? My name is Easy Mac, a variety streamer and content creator. My name is Knuckles, small streamer, variety streamer. and yeah. Overall sexy-ass man, right? Mm. Sexy bearded men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't even realize that. We all have facial hair, huh? That's what's up, dude. Fuck, we should just change it to the fucking beard gang or something. Okay. I'm still so. working. <laughs> <laughs> got the patchy spots. Uh, That's coming in. Today, the topic is, well, controversial. Really. <laughs> What's today's topic, Mac? Um, so today's co- topic would be um, how many genders mm, or okay. the talk okay. about genders. Okay. And all, all two of them. Mm-hmm. The new age of child predators and how the internet works with younger adults. All right. Okay. And just so you guys know, we do not uh, talk about this beforehand. We have no idea what we're going to speak about, and we do not even research this because we're all extremely lazy. So, <laughs> I mean, I have something <laughs> this <called is> that. <laughs> purely just opinion on what we think, and there's, you know, there's probably not even any fact to any of this shit. Besides that there's two genders. But other than that, Mac, you want to start it off? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, well, what do you want to do? you want to start right in the fucking <laughs> deep end? Or do you want to... Send you it, want... bro. Send it. <laughs> I mean, this is your topic, right? So what do you want to talk about? You wanted to talk about this, right? Yeah. So, um, so okay, if we're going to start off with the genders thing, I just want to like, dude. So I, I thought of this only because of what came up in my one of my previous streams a little while back when I was uh someone asked me the question of how many how many genders do you think there is and wait, wait, wait. That, that was just like a normal chat question well like, hey Mac how many genders are there no because uh I, f- I forgot how it how it all came up but I said somebody to offend somebody and the person in my chat was trans and they and then they said so how many gen- how many genders do you think there are and I said two Boy and girl. <laughs> like, what What do you mean? And then... Triggered. <laughs> it automatically triggered. Like, immediately. And, yeah. uh, I mean, like, I felt bad, but I'm just like, dude, it's the fucking truth. I mean, you're either a guy or a girl. There's two genders and a bunch of mental disorders, in my opinion. <laughs> in the opinion of most scientists. Yeah. I have to agree with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really... It's crazy how, how people have come to accept things... Just because of people's feelings, you know, like I get like you might have like gender dysphoria or you might believe that you feel a certain way. You know, that's a chemical imbalance. I, I do not blame the person. No, I'm not going to say, oh, no, you know what? No, I'm going to call you because if, if somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I want to be called Sarah, you know, and it's John. John's like, hey, I want to be called Sarah. We're like, all right, cool. I'll, I'll call you Sarah. I don't have a problem. I'm not going to fucking discriminate. I'm not going to treat you like shit. I'm not going to bully you. But, I mean, when you come down to it and you're, and you're trying to teach children or anyone in the scientific field and say, hey, no, there, there is only, there's only more than two genders. No, there's only two. Okay, if you want to be called Sarah, that's fine. But scientifically, there has only ever been and only ever will be two genders, male and female. It's and reproductive. That, it has nothing to do with you the way you want me to feel. read the definition? But here, All right, All right. go ahead. It says, either of the two sexes, male and female, especially when considered with reference to social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. The term see, is also a, used more too. broadly to denote a range of identities that do not correspond to established ideas of male and female. And that's where you're starting to venture into the urban dictionary type of, of, of what does it actually mean? When you're talking about gender, historically, people are talking about what sex are you? Do you have a penis or a vagina? And in that case, there's only two. You can either have a penis or a vagina. I mean, even the people who talk about hermaphrodites, oh, they have both, so they're, they're obviously... No, they do not have both of the fucking... Like, you have that XY or XX chromosome. You don't have an XY, XX, XY chromosome. You'd be fucking a mutated freak. All right, you don't have a bunch of different chromosomes. You don't have extra chromosomes, okay? As a hermaphrodite, you are either a, a scientific DNA male or DNA female. Now, when people talk about gender as, oh well, this is what I want to be called, that's something completely different. That, that's what I was going to bring up as well is that um, a lot of people mess up gender to pronouns. 
Yeah, exactly. Pronouns. That's that's the perfect word. People are like, well, that's not my pronoun. Okay, that's fine. If if you want to put your pronoun in your Twitter bio, by all means, go for it. No one's gonna stop you. Okay. But when you're trying to say, you know, the scientists are wrong, history is wrong, and teach children that you can be an Apache attack helicopter, that's very dangerous, okay? <laughs> Helicopters have large guns. They're very heavy. The blades are sharp. Sh kids should not be uh, Apache attack helicopters, okay? So it's, it's very different to say <laughs> that there's more than two sexes or genders when there's not. Your pronouns can be whatever you want, and that's just that's the fact. You know, if people want to get offended over that, go ahead. But that's the problem with like cancel culture nowadays, and why we made this podcast is because we don't give a fuck about your feelings, and science doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. So you can either get over it or cry about it on social media, which is what people have been doing. I mean, you have like Gina Carano who got canceled from Disney, and it's like you can't cancel people for expressing their views because then you're violating their freedom of speech. Those are inalienable rights. So. That's Twitter, though. Yeah, Twitter is, I mean, That's social media in, is, is, is a whole other fucking podcast that we could talk about. Because social Twitter. media is a fucking shit show right now. Mm -hmm. Just fucking to mention all, all the people that are just like, dude, there's no backbone to anybody anymore. You know, everybody is yeah, just so soft. Everyone's afraid. Everybody's so and soft. It's like, dude, everybody's I, so one scared thing I don't there's, there's no, like, fucking alphas anymore, dude. There's no men. Everyone is like, oh, I'm a soy boy, you know? Well, it, there hurts feelings, and we can't show it on TV, and we don't want to air it. It's like, bro, like, we're being a pussy. Like, right now, it's basically like, if you're a Republican or a conservative, you're mm -hmm. an alpha male. And or if a you're Nazi. a Democrat, yeah. then you're a beta male, like, considering, like, m men or whatever. Everything has become that's so black just, and white. It's and dumb. Like it's it's not. It, life isn't black and white. People need to not. realize this. I know. It's that's it's what that's great. what everyone's doing now, though. Yeah. They're it's like, like oh, either well, you're a libtard or you're or fucking libtard. stupid redneck. Yeah. And that's and not it's like, true. I'm I'm not a conservative. You know, I'm not even registered as a Republican. So it's like people are like, oh, you're just Republican. You 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 like Trump and this and that. There's things I like about Trump. And there's things I don't like about Trump. There's yeah. nothing I like about Biden though, which I don't have no fucking clue how he won. And why, one thing I don't understand, how the fuck do we have millions upon millions of, upon millions of Americans? I don't know the exact number. What, what do you think it is? Like a, Almost 400 million. 400 million Americans? Mm -hmm. And literally the best we could come up with was Joe Biden? <laughs> who literally <laughs> can't even remember his own fucking name or where he's at or what he's doing? What bill that's, he's signing? That's on the Democratic Party, though. For nominating him, but that's like the that, thing too. Is just like we're though, so it's, it's, fucked. It's, it, we are so fucked, and people it didn't don't even matter how far gone we are. It didn't even like, matter. Our who elections won. aren't real. No, it didn't matter who won. It was yeah, always well, going. To, the there thing, was always going to be a disconnect. There was no winning. That's the problem. Either nope. way, you lose, and you we've been losing because the electoral system is rigged. Everything is fucked. Like, if you don't have millions of dollars, if you don't have the connections, if you don't have all these backers, political influence before you even run for president, you're never going to make it. You have to be a part of the two big parties or else you just consider it a joke and you're laughed off the stage, which exactly. is completely the wrong idea. The whole idea of being a politician is to serve the people. You're supposed to have a job as a politician. Mm -hmm. A politician is not a job. It's a public service, and that's what it's supposed to be. Now we have fucking people getting paid two hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a month or a year to be a politician full time, but they have no other experience, no other jobs, no other resumes. They, they all literally they all been came lifelong through lawyers. They all came from being lawyers, and that's the worst. That's literally one of the worst professions I could possibly imagine to that's, become that's a. That's the only reason why they like they're like, oh, well, they can make laws. There's well, some that's slimy fucking lawyers. fucking lawyers out there, and what you want it? them to run the country. Saying that it all came from lords or people with money, you know. What I mean, it's all people yeah, it's that don't people have experience. political influence, and it's like that's not how it's supposed to be. You want the average Joe, like if if I'm if I'm gonna have a bunch of people to represent a group of people, that guy has to have been a part of that group of people. At Wayne some the Rock Johnson, you know exactly. Like I mean, even him is what like <laughs> a little disconnected, but it's, it's still like no, I would rather have... like that's like literally what a lot of people want. Kanye want, 2020. I mean, that's more of a celebrity thing, though, and then that, that comes down to like majority and like Ronald Reagan was great. 
Well, even he was yeah, a celeb. People... He was an actor before he became a politician and dude, stuff. Kanye twenty twenty. He, he was good. No, <laughs> not Kanye twenty twenty. That dude's so far Kanye gone. Kanye needs some mental it's... help. Once his He's... mom passed, like he went off the deep yeah. end. He you started know. off on the right track, but yeah. I think and the, th- the thing I have a theory about Kanye. I honestly think that Kanye we went off the rails quick. I, I honestly think he's too smart for his own good, dude. I think he's one of those people who cross that threshold. Because there's a threshold between, like, genius and retardation. <laughs> and I think he crossed that threshold, like, legitimately. And he's having problems coping with the way his mind works. I mean, the he's, way that he told everybody that... Spiral. The way that he told everybody that he could see co- uh, music with colors or, like, mu- he sees music. He yeah, he might it. even be, like, a part of the spectrum. Like, he might actually be, like... Uh, autistic. He's I'm, one of the aliens. <laughs> Elon Musk literally just came out and said that he had Asperger's. Yeah, he has that. You know? I mean, you can tell. And, it's obvious. No, yeah, I, I've, I've, I kind of felt it for a while. But the thing is, is like people don't understand what even autism or Asperger's really is. And it's like when people say retarded, they think they think of it as a negative. I've never thought of a retard. It's because, or, uh, it, like, it's no, because mentally the, disabled. And people get mad at the word retard. It's not. I mean, when you use it as a derogatory term, yeah. it's derogatory. But mental mental retardation is a thing. So calling someone retarded is just labeling them as men, mental retard, uh, mental retardation. But mm-hmm. that is not a bad thing. That, a lot but of now people it's are Down just so syndrome, smart. and you can't even say that. Well, that's a that's the thing. Is mental retardation is like an umbrella. So there's like mental retardation and everything else that falls under it. So like there's you know like Asperger's, autism, Down syndrome, like all different types of they call them mental disabilities or special disabilities. Um, but if you're not what they would call a uh, normal functioning person, like if you were left to your own means and you couldn't survive, then most people would consider that retarded. Mm. You know, if, if you can't survive on your own, then you evolutionarily speaking, like by the like, you know, Darwinism, you would have died out. If somebody wasn't there taking care of you, you would have died. Dude, I, and that's part of that. And I, and I believe that too as well because I have two family members, two cousins that have Aspergers. One of mm-hmm. them, super genius. And yeah. the other one, Smart. extremely artistic. Like, dude, it's crazy. Yeah, I have a nephew who is also uh, on the spectrum. And like he could not speak until he was like four or five. Yeah, they're, they're, their social cues are insane. They're, he's totally different. Like they, You can speak to him and it's like you're not even there. Yeah, but like now he's like a spelling champion. Like this kid can spell words that he shouldn't even know at his uh, age. He's like uh, four years old, and he's he's off the charts, dude. I'm I'm convinced like, that this kid's gonna have a fucking Nobel Prize by the time he's like fucking thirty. <laughs> I mean, look, at, look at fucking Elon Musk, dude. Like l- rockets that can land themselves, like like reusable rockets. You know, changing the world with electric like vehicles. Tesla, like being such an amazing company. Like it's. He's really revolutionized things and like <laughs> the whole Bitcoin thing, that's that's a different topic, but he literally can sway an entire financial market with one tweet. I mean, and I mean that's pretty impressive. Sort of what he did. Yeah, yeah. And that's pretty impressive. So I don't think that being retarded, mentally disabled, having autism, Asperger's, any of that is really gonna let you, like set you back in life right now. You know, if you can as long as you have somebody to help you, like, obviously survive and find a paycheck and a job. Now they have, like, affirmative action and all kinds of ways to get even people with mental disabilities jobs. So that's awesome. But back in the day, if you were fucking retarded, they were not going to hire you. No they one's going to go to McDonald's. you off the edge of the cliff like in Sparta. Oh, you, then we're, we're way back. But, yeah, if you go yeah. way back, <laughs> now you look funny. One eye was a little bit, you know, higher than the other. And off the cliff, buddy. <laughs> so it's <laughs> it's changed a lot. But, I mean, the theories, the laws of nature are the same, you know? Darwinism is still a thing, you know, survival of the fittest. If you were to leave a lot of people nowadays to their own means and not put warning labels on everything, can you imagine how many fucking idiots would be dead? A lot. A lot. And, and you know Or what? they You'd would be, be seriously maimed and injured. Yeah. No, and, and, it's, and it's crazy, but that's how, not how nature works. It's how the balance is kept. And humans inherently throw off that balance because they hold everyone's fucking hand. Yep. Sure. <laughs> it's like I'm that, uh, 100% that, that agreeing fucking, with you so far. Yeah, man. no, it's it, that that lady from uh, who sued McDonald's. Uh, way this was a, a long For time ago. For the coffee. Now. Yeah. She, because the bitch let didn't me order realize a hot that coffee. it's fucking hot. 
yeah, let me order a hot coffee and then fucking spill it on myself and sue the company for millions because they didn't write hot on the cup. I didn't even know about like, this. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm that's sure the reason why really it says caution hot. Like yeah. your drink is hot on a McDonald's She made cup millions? Cup. Yeah. Yeah, millions. Every warning label that you've ever read anywhere is because they got sued at some point or another. Exactly. Choking hazard. Every hot, single. Cold. Every single OSHA fucking yep. warning every sign says. Regulation. Don't go here. This might happen to you. It's because it already happened. And that dumbass who was stacking ladders, you know, <laughs> doing Just, some like, stupid, when I, irresponsible, dumb shit. What? I mean, when I used to work with the gas company, man, there were plenty of shit where it's like, we, the only reason why we go through this checklist is because a gas meter exploded because of this, or it was a huge leak because of this. And you know what's funny, though, is that even though we think, oh, there's a label, it must be obvious, there are so many people for who it's not obvious, dude. Oh, it's yeah. really Weird. fucking frightening. I actually got in trouble. The The last, like, I guess it's like manual labor job I had uh, was as a maintenance mechanic at a fucking, I'll, I'll even say the name, fuck them, Pittman Farms, dude, over in Sanger. This place is a fucking cesspool of OSHA violations. It's absolutely insane, dude. <laughs> like, they wanted, they got mad at me one time. I almost got fired because of this. Welcome they to the Uncancelled Podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck these guys. Cancel fucking these motherfuckers. Dude, for one, for one, when I was working there, they had used to have like briefs where they'd get everyone together and be like, hey guys, so um, yeah, ICE is stopping by today. So if you don't have uh, papers, just don't come to work. And I'm like, bro, like, are you, are you supposed to be telling people that you're about to get raided? Like, is, isn't it the whole That's... point that you just don't hire illegals? And it's like, oh, what the shit. fuck, dude? Are you crazy? And then on top of that, <laughs> like, there's so many violations, dude. They wanted me to, and we're talking a, a fucking, this is a chicken plant, right? So the ceilings, you're talking like maybe, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 feet high up in like the fucking, the rafts and shit. And they're like, yeah, can you just like climb this ladder? And then you go up to the top over here, climb over there, and then we'll, we'll help you go even higher with a forklift. You know, one of those fucking like giant like a uh, scissor lift. The, the, yeah, but no, it wasn't a scissor lift. It was a fork lift. Like it had, it was like a twelve k fork lift or something. And he was gonna oh, use the. He wanted me to stand on the forks to go even higher. And I was like, bro, I'm not fucking doing that. And he's like, well, you, well, you you have to. It's your job. And I'm like, no, the fuck, it's not, bro. Like no, I know, I guarantee you, I call OSHA right now, and they're gonna they're gonna fucking hem your ass up. And every every time I would fucking put them in their place, they fucking want to write me up or fire me, some bullshit. And they never could. But I mean, eventually they fucking fired me. But <laughs> it's like <laughs> you can't fucking do that. And people are still and it's, it's like, I can't get pressured into doing shit. I just can't. Like if if you tell oh you well he's doing that, I'm not gonna fucking do it. Suck my ass, bro. But the thing is, a lot of people don't have that kind of fucking like you know will against peer, peer pressure or or pressure from authority so if yeah. you're going to tell somebody who you know gives a fuck like hey do this it's extremely unsafe but it's your job they're gonna fucking do it and they're gonna get hurt and they're gonna be maimed for the rest of their fucking life and the, the your boss doesn't give a fuck if you get hurt at work dude your boss is just gonna be like your oh boss, sorry workers comp bye hire the next person your boss you're only worries life. because of the insurance that's it that's the only thing and, and even then it's like if they're not paying it you know or they're going to try their best to make it so you can't get to workers' comp. I got injured at work one time, dude, and these motherfuckers got mad when I claimed workers' comp. They were like, well, you didn't even talk to us and this and this and that. And I was like, bro, no, fuck you. Like, I got injured at work. I'm legally able to claim workers' comp. There's nothing the you can do about it. same thing that happened to me. Yeah, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous how these people are. In 2020, dude, this was 20, 20, 2019 or 2020, one of those years. That's super recent for shit like this to still be going on, dude. Like that's absolutely ridiculous. But, but it's all, there's also there's also the dumb motherfuckers who claim the back injury and stuff, and then you see them a week later, and they're out driving their oh, at, brand new side by side, yes. or at the gym, One, bro, and just <laughs> working out like that's fucking true. crazy, and yeah. then it's like, ha, you fucked See, up. that's the problem, dude. Is all these people taking advantage of shit and all these idiots, and it's like. I guess that's kind of like where this whole you know like, gender what? thing. I'm bringing. Yeah, place. I was gonna say I'm bringing it around. They're taking advantage of the system. It's like you can't yeah. tell me that I can't do it. Like yeah. right now, 
I could just say, I identify as a vaccinated person. You can't tell that, me to put a mask on. That's what I'm saying. Where does bro, it stop, bitch? Okay, okay? So, dude, that, okay so now that you said that, bro, so this last week, the last weekend, um, I was hanging out with my friends and stuff, and uh, we ended up going to a gay bar. Uh, oh, nice. So it was my, it was my first you actually experience. actually the most chicks there. It was my first experience going there, and... Bro, right at the door, they're like, if you're vaccinated, uh, the masks don't apply to you. And I was like, okay, do you need to verify? No, no, no. If you're not vaccinated, it's all right. Exactly. Uh, I'm just like, what? Uh, excuse exactly. me? What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. How do you know? And I, I it's, walked, it's who cares now? Like, dude, I walk in. is done it's, with it. It was all about compliance. All about America's, compliance from America's the beginning. done with it. Bro, I walk they, in there. And you know why? Because the elections are over. Yeah. But, dude, I walk in there. Ain't nobody wearing a fucking mask, dude. No, nobody. Who the bro. fuck is gonna wear a mask? I don't wear a mask almost anywhere, dude. Anywhere. I go to the grocery store, no mask, dude. I go fucking get gas, no mask. And you know what? No one's gonna fucking tell me shit, dude. But to the people who they feel like they could tell shit to, like if my wife went out somewhere alone, some somebody might want to say shit to her, dude. But it's like, how the fuck are you gonna say shit when literally, like, what I don't understand? They did this like when I was going to, to college, dude. In college, they tried to make me wear a mask, right? And I'm just like, no, I'm not going to do it. And they're like, well, you, you don't care about the, the spread of the virus? And I'm like, bro, you're wearing a fucking neck gaiter. I'm like, do you realize that neck gaiters do not stop the spread of the virus? They actually no. increase the spread of the particulate that comes out of your fucking mouth. And he's just like, well, I, I wear it because I, I have to. I'm like, so you don't give a you fuck wear, about so, the virus, bro. You're doing it for your goddamn job, you pussy. At least be honest. You wear it so they just say, okay, that's fine. It's about compliance. And that's the thing. I'm not going to fucking that's comply it. with a bullshit order. Like, you, you don't own me. I don't fucking work for you. You know, it's a free goddamn country. But people forget that. And now they're being pushed around. And they're being told, well, you can't come into our store if you don't wear a mask. Well, fuck you. I'll shop online, bitch. It's mm. cheaper anyways. Mm. And uh, people need to fight, dude. They need to stand up. They need to do something. Because if they keep allowing all of our rights to be pushed back, a little, a little, a little, safety, safety, safety. Bro, it's not about safety, bro. bro it's not, about like even under, under control. When, when the pandemic first started and then uh, masks were required at work, um, we had our masks on for a week. And then I told my boss, I was like, why the fuck are we wearing a mask? Nobody is next to each other. Like, literally, yep. we have, like, we yep. have a big-ass warehouse, and we have maximum 10 people working there. And I'm like, beg, I, I told my boss, like, hey, you, we don't need our masks. Like, there's, we're not we're, even yeah, fucking not five feet proximity. next to each other. Like everybody's 10, working in their own apart. station. Yeah, everybody's working in their own station. And then I'm like, you already, you, she already spaced us out, like, 20 feet apart from each other. We can't even work yep. next to each other anymore. I'm like, so what's the point of wearing the mask? We're not even fucking spreading anything. Compliance. That's it. <laughs> That's it, dude. They're just like, they're afraid that somebody higher than them is going to be like, oh, well, you have to do it because because Big Daddy said so. OK, Big Daddy Joe Biden wants you to wear masks. It's and it's like, no, dude, same shit. No, I, I, I would love to see somebody try and make me. That's but, what, that's what I'm, I'm waiting for that, dude. Every fucking day. I'm waiting for a motherfucker to do that. I have a, a, a <laughs> he's a family friend. And this guy is a scary dude, dude. He's like six, four, but he's like fucking yoked bro bald head he, he walks into fucking lowe's a hardware store right and he, he doesn't wear a mask you know most intelligent people are not going to wear a mask if they don't have to because it's not good for you I'm, I'm just gonna put that out there but he walks in there and uh some other guy tries to come up to him and it's like hey put your fucking mask on like hella rude can you imagine someone coming up to you all disrespectful and being, hey, put your fucking mask on, bro. If I tell you, you be friend, disrespectful, then you're gonna be, then you're no, gonna get a really just, bad response. He, he punched, punched him, him in the chest, knocked the fucking air out of him in the middle of the store, bro. In the middle of the fucking store, and he's like, "You ever fucking talk to me like that again, I'll break your fucking kneecaps, bro." Damn. And that was it. Good. He didn't call the cops. Didn't do nothing. It's like you just need there, one person. It, to fucking there's treat way, you like that, so you learn your fucking lesson and know your place. It, there's a there's a time and a place or whatever to get like that upset about it. Like if obviously if you're in a fucking like doctor's office or something. Even then, you you can call the police I'm, and have them handle it if it's a guideline. You don't need to fucking approach somebody disrespectful, especially if you yeah can't you fight. don't do it disrespectfully. Like yeah. you just you come at them, you're like, hey man, like 
uh, like it's you know our policy or whatever that we wear masks. It's like, well, I'm not going to wear them. Well, yeah, and even so then, kind of need it to you to. It's like, yeah, leave it to the people working there. Yeah, like, don't know the, the if you're not the working store, there, don't say nothing. Yeah, if you, yeah, exactly. It, it's like if a worker came the up worker. to him and was like, "Hey, sir, could you please put a mask on?" It, I'm sure it would have gone completely fucking different. Yeah, but some random you fucking asshole wants to come though. up, be disrespectful, especially when. They, it's, it's, it, not, it's, it's not inconvenient it it's not inconveniencing on, it's not inconveniencing you in any way other than you wasting your yeah. own time coming up to you and saying just, put and your mask on just, people who try and say it's a health just risk go, and it's not it's just not. go somewhere just stay the fuck away from them hold exactly. your damn breath if when you walk past me <laughs> that much go, go somewhere else away from them bro hold yeah, your nah, breath before you come off. past it's me it's easy exactly exactly if you're that worried there's no fucking point and the same thing unless that person is right in your face and they're like like you're not gonna get shit, bro. And if you get it's that close ridiculous. to me, anyways, I'm gonna fuck him sock you. Bro, but like it doesn't even yeah, fucking I got matter, bro. Anyways. Dude, people. Okay, so people want to wear masks and all this shit in stores, but they touch everything in the store. And the second and they that they get, the hands. second they get in their cards, they're like, "Oh yeah, let me type in the numbers on this." <laughs> yep. No, no, it's great. Yeah, I'm not gonna get sick. I have a mask. Oh man, I'm Did sweaty. You, just, you know what I mean? Take your nose and then lick your finger. Yeah. Did you just totally were like a fucking problem? Yeah. <laughs> that's still gross. But like, dude, dude that's you're not I'm gonna saying. get sick from it. And you know what? My immune system. Well, yeah, is fucking because you're fantastic. like 500 miles away. No, I'm, that's when I won't get sick from it. I've I've had COVID. I literally had COVID, dude. I was just a little sleepy. Got it over in like two days. It's not a fucking life-ending disease unless you have pre-existing medical conditions. You lie. You and were bedridden for like two weeks. <laughs> I was. You, fucking <laughs> you were fucking, dude. You were yeah, so. You were, you were out dead. For like two I was. I was tired for like two days. Two but weeks. I, you were out I, for like two no, weeks. You're so full bro, of shit. Bro, no, we're not. The two, weeks, we're not. the two weeks was because I was doing other shit. I wasn't. Nah, dude. Nah, videos. you didn't even you get out of bed. On. You were no, like, dude, oh, I'm so said, tired. Dude, I'm just exhausted, <laughs> bro. Full of shit. Full of shit. I no, was sick bro. For literally like two Calling days. Calling you out. You were bedridden for like two weeks, bro. Show me the proof. I guarantee you it was two fucking days. My family will verify that. My roommates will verify. But yeah, I was fucking. I was no. I'm talking about like sick. The, the well, I mean symptoms, not sick, but I'm talking about you were no, no, no. you symptoms, were like a fucking hibernating no. bear for like two weeks, bro. Dude, I'm you always a just... hibernating bear. I no, dude, like like, like where you didn't even want to make content type shit, bro. You were just yeah. dude. Tired. When's the last time I made content? Well, other than that, because once you finally got rid of Have that, I've been sick for what, what, once two you got rid now. Once you got rid no, of COVID, it has you, nothing you to do You were back to it. No, I stopped. I stopped doing content. I haven't doing. I haven't been doing content. I'm still not doing content. I did one video in the last. No, I did two videos in the last like month or two. That has nothing to do with COVID. COVID was like what three, four months ago now. It has nothing to do with COVID. The COVID, I, I got, had it sick for two days. I you and got then COVID after that, the like symptoms. November. I had the symptoms of like loss of taste for like two weeks. But I was still going about. I was still going to school. No problem. Like. It's it's not an issue. It's really not. If unless you have an autoimmune disease, if you have like pre-existing conditions, but that can be said for any fucking disease. Anything. The regular flu can kill somebody who has cancer, who has an autoimmune disease, who has AIDS of any of so, any sort, you know, anything that already exists, a heart condition. This COVID is, is nothing new. There's there's been different strains and every, that's why it's COVID-19 cuz that's the, the strain from 2019. COVID in itself is not fatal. All right, so what do you think about the vaccine itself? That. Fuck no, why? Especially for the people who've already had COVID. There's no reason to get vaccinated at all. I Nature agree. is better at fighting a disease than you are. Okay? To any scientist who thinks my vaccine is better than nature, you can suck my fat fucking dick because you're full of shit. Yeah, I agree. I, I, there is no reason to get a vaccine, I'm, especially I'm just this. right now because this shit was so rushed. There's like, bro, the Johnson exactly. & Johnson went from like 80 or 90% to like 30% with blood clots and all these other complications that Dude, came along with jo it. The baby shit, it, nothing is safe, okay? Especially things that are made in a lab. And here's the thing. You're not going to know if it's safe until 20 so years, it. 30 years after the product has been released because then that's when the side effects are going to come into play. It's like being in the military. Like, you're like, oh, I get out. I feel fine. Yeah. But in five fucking years, you won't. You know? And that's why disability is so important. 
And that's why the people don't realize that all these products are taking in the fast food, the preservatives. Everything is fucking killing us, dude. And that's why, why cancer is all all time highs. All these products and everything they shove in it. They don't, it's untested, bro. The FDA do you, has actually like a tolerance of how much lead you can put in food and how much this and that you can put in different things. Like they know how many harmful, bugs are in there, but they have a tolerance. They're like, okay, as long as you don't go above this level, eh, I'll fucking send it. <laughs> that's going to fucking hurt over 30, 40 years. Yes. It's going to fucking yeah. kill you. Yeah, People stop are eating retarded. a Big Mac. It's fucking stop, retarded. Stop dude. getting the Big Mac every day. Bro, it's even like, dude, to where baby food has fucking lead in it, bro. Like you could put a magnet to baby food and you, you'll Nothing fucking pull out lead. It's healthy. If you buy it at the store, it's not healthy because they're trying to make money. They're trying to put as many preservatives. They're trying to get it to the to fucking logistics is a bitch, dude. Getting shit, mm -hmm. shit shipped across the country, the trucks it has to go through, the fucking uh, all the preservatives they have to put in it to make that shit last. You know, it's it's not meant for being healthy. It's not meant for being the best. It's meant for being the cheapest so the profit margins can be larger. And mm -hmm. people don't understand this. If you want to be healthy, grow a fucking garden. Make your own food. Grow your own fruit. That's the only way you'll be able to do this. Kill your own cows. Yeah. And cows are fucking expensive. I don't know if people have ever looked yeah, into are. how much a cow is. Yeah, they are. It's not cheap, bro. And then people over here trying to shit on farmers. It's like, why don't you try and raise a cow, dude? See how difficult that is. And then try and feed millions of people who are Gee. ungrateful. It's like, oh, they're in bad conditions. Bro, how the fuck do you think you're going to get that many cows together or that many chickens together? How, how are you going to get them or to, to, the, plant, to, to process those sizes them? to feed the, to feed, to yeah. feed the people? If, if you want them to start, you know, up. putting, if you want to, you know what? Fuck it. We can start putting masks on cows and, and distance them six feet apart. And we'll see how that affects <laughs> the fucking the food chain. I, we'll see how much people give a fuck about COVID and other diseases when they don't have food in their fucking grocery stores. Look at the gas crisis we had just last week, dude. That shit people, is stupid. Bro, oh my. People panic. Oh, no camera. No, no. It's absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. Technical <laughs> difficulties. His face. His face froze <laughs> pretty damn good. It was like. <laughs> but no, like the gas, like, is the gas crisis is the same thing with the toilet paper. Everyone started freaking out. It's like, artificially. If you uh, freak out, it's, it's an artificial shortage. You're, people are like, "Oh, there's a shortage. Let me go buy." Bro, it all people for are myself. fucking no. idiots, dude. It doesn't even matter if it's a they shortage or out because if, they or said that anything. the pipeline was shut off. Dude, it, there it, are it, people in Florida buying gas by the fucking tanker. Dude, they're buying gas inside of they're trash bags. It in Tupperware, bro. The pipeline doesn't run through Florida. I know. No, what the fuck are you doing? And this is what I'm talking about. Is like people freak out about the smallest fucking thing. Like there's a fucking snowstorm coming. Buy out the entire fucking stock. Bro, milk yeah, expires in a fucking I week. Find. Milk expires in no, a week and people one. buy like fucking 10 gallons of fucking milk for no reason. Or like they'll it's buy so food stupid. that expires in a week. And then it's like, bro, it's a snowstorm. And then you have, It'll pass. Then you have the real shit bags. The fucking scalpers, bro. Mm. motherfuckers who are like oh mm. hand sanitizer we're low on it let me buy the entire store's fucking inventory and try and resell it at 10 times more <laughs> that fucking guy yep. who sold everything on amazon yeah. he got what he deserved he got shit on he got stuck with all the product and was not allowed to sell it but that happens in everything i'm seeing that everywhere i'm seeing it in pokemon cards i'm seeing it in fucking cars have you tried to look at 240s Ooh. and e30s right now absolutely ridiculous Everything is overpriced as a motherfucker, dude. The economy is going to crash, and did people say, don't realize. Did it. you say two forties and E thirties? Is that what you said? Two forty, two forty SX, Nissan two forty SX, and BMW E thirties. They're going from. I mean, just look at the fair. Just look at the fair lady. They literally the two forty Z, two eighty Z. They were. I bought one. Uh, on, it's on the channel. I have it on my channel. I bought one for three thousand dollars, maybe a year or two ago. Not even that yeah. long ago. Then last year, pandemic hits. They're selling for like ten, fifteen thousand dollars, and it's like, Dude, bro, that's not what they're actually valued. A shit box too, at. and it's yeah, a totally shit stripped, box. drifted, beaten to a wall, like no engine, fifteen thousand dollars, bro. No, no, like you're Dude, trying to price in a pandemic. That's not, that's not how it works. There, like, there's, there's a like two forty and two eighty Zs, uh, the Datsuns, that have been wrecked and just left outside and fully rusted like literally the thing yeah. is destroyed 
and they're wanting 10 grand for it. You can't yeah, like yeah. the thing doesn't run. The entire framework is ruined. Yep. And and everyone's so deaf. They're wanting cash, 10 like, grand it. for it when it's literally something that's going to go to the junkyard. Yeah, it should be scrapped. But and here's the thing, though, is like somebody it's, sees it's it, a right? fair lady. The, the idiots see this and they're like, oh, my, the price has gone up. Let me swoop one before it goes up even more. It's like the stock market. You're bro, you're gambling and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So you're buying at the peak. You know, it's like you never you never buy at the peak. It's common knowledge. And people are doing that. And that's the unfortunate part is like people are scalping and people are still buying. Why the fuck are people buying graphics cards at twenty five hundred dollars for an eight hundred dollar card, seven hundred dollar card? And it's not even just that. We also like fucking concerts and stuff, too. Like take take yeah, it, for tickets. instance, take for instance, fucking the Bad Bunny concert, bro. Bad Bunny. Yep. Bro, I yep. waited I like me personally because like I wanted to take my girlfriend out to like, you know, to go to mm -hmm. this concert. And it's coming out next year and it's her favorite artist, bro. I waited in line when ticket sales were dropped. Like I waited the hour before I was in line and then, you know, you have to wait your fucking turn. By the time yep. I got there, all the tickets gone, gone and resold for like, uh, yeah, dude, yeah, exactly. from you know 250, from $250 to fourteen hundred dollars yep. for mid tier mid tier seats. I was like, excuse yep. me, and and it's probably I guarantee you no more than five people who did it. It's five people with bots and a lot of cash. They buy all the fucking things they can, and then they just post them up for three, four, five x profit. It's insane, it's fucked, Jake Paul. Dude. <laughs> it's just fucked, kidding. bro. It's absolutely ridiculous, and it's it, it, unfortunately it's a it's a offset of the pandemic. People are out of jobs, and they're like, well, how can I make quick money? And this is how they're doing it, by scalping everything. Target does not even sell Pokemon cards anymore. Really? They had to completely unstock them. They removed them from the shelves. They're like, sorry, it's too dangerous for our staff to sell Pokemon cards. That's kind of because ridiculous. Because people are that fucking unruly. Bro, right every now. Monday in morning. Thanks, Logan Paul. A, the, every Monday morning at Target, there was a line out the door waiting for the doors to open to go Yep. One, one to that they limit it to like two or three packs per one person. Product, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Now they don't do it at all. They said, "Fuck you guys. That's you insane. suck." <laughs> that is, and it's true. People suck. That's fucking nuts. It's that it's gotten absolutely nuts. ridiculous, and it's affecting everything. And that's one thing that I wish more people realized. And uh, our country is not going in the right direction. Our economy is going downwards. And our government's doing absolutely nothing to help it, dude. They're lining their pockets, increasing taxes. It's, it's fucking, we are way beyond the point of where revolution should have happened. Like, literally, we, we fucking, we left England, the, you know, fucking great British empire, to fucking, you know, be free. And here we are getting taxed. Literally, people like who make more than uh, I think it's a million dollars in California are giving up almost fifty percent of their fucking income. How mad would you be if you worked your ass off to start a business, you struggled for years, and you finally got to the point where yes, I'm gonna make my first million dollars, and then Uncle Joe's like, no, you actually made four hundred and something thousand. Yeah. Like, how fucking disrespectful and illegal and fucking... That's robbery, bro. It's fucking robbery. And people are not like, reacting appropriately. I do. My, I mean, we got... I, got, I, I had... People uh, were taxed for, over tea and fucking started a war. Dude, my, my mom sold her business, like, her lunch trucks and everything for, like, over... Probably close to a million dollars. And she got keep taxed the fucking ass, yep. bro. It's insane. Capital how gains. Much was, and the problem how is much now was that Biden's taken. trying to... Yeah, he's trying to fuck it even more. He's trying to fuck us even more, dude. Anybody who makes uh, over a certain threshold is, is getting... And even the regular American people are getting fucked. Even the people who are making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year are still getting fucked and they don't realize it, dude. Because it's, it's trickled down economics. If you shit on the fucking top, guess what? They're smarter, more set up, more prepared. That shit isn't going to land on them. They're going to redirect it right onto your fucking head, dumbass. Bro, especially like so the people... So that fucking shit lands right in your plate. Like the people that are uh, taking all this unemployment money, they don't understand that they got to pay this back eventually. 
Well, and that's the thing is like it's everything's being taken on taxes, even stimulus. The stimulus isn't free money. You know, it's just kind of like, hey, we're going to give you some money to make us look good and also to, you know, kind of help stimulate the economy. But you have to pay it back in taxes. So mm-hmm. we're going to tax everyone even higher. And, and everything now that, you know, workers are, are non-existent, wages are pretty much still not moving much. So everything has to go up in price. So now that, you know, theoretical, like, you know, gallon of milk is now five, six, seven dollars. You know, yep. it's no going to get dollar to menu. Where everything is more expensive. It's going to be like trying to get a gallon of milk on the islands of Hawaii. Oof, and, and then, you know like what? You're not going to be able to find a gallon of milk because 10, the guy down the street bought them all and then reselling them for 25 <laughs> bucks a piece. <laughs> And it's it's absolutely insane, and people don't realize like it takes literally. It, think about this, okay? Grocery stores have a distribution system. They can only get so much food, and drinks, etc. You know, product per week per month. If someone had the cash and really wanted to, they could go into that store, buy the entire product, and resell it. Imagine someone being a dick scalper on necessities. That's when things are really going to start to hit the fan, dude, because these people, they don't realize it yet. Right now, it's like, you know, toys, collectibles, things like that. Bees. But if somebody really wants to start scalping necessities, unless there's some kind of like state or federal laws to help protect us from that, it's going to cause mass panic because it's going to be artificial shortages and people are going to do the gas thing, the toilet paper thing all over again. They're going to start fighting. There's going to be riots. It's going to be fucking chaos. It'll be the breakdown of society. And people don't realize how easy it is to break down society. Literally, like when the toilet paper was going flying off the shelves, like people were like, oh, why is the toilet paper gone? I guess I should buy tons of food too. And they start buying all the food more than they need. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, there's no food, no toilet paper, no, no, no bread. I, I witness this firsthand. I have pictures of grocery stores that I go into and there's no bread oh, on same. the shelves. It's there's ridiculous. no food on the shelves. And it's like, are we in a war right now? Is someone invading? Like, what the fuck is going on to why this is an issue? But and the thing is not. that people, people the thing is that people, stupid. dude, people are taking the wrong Panic. shit anyways, bro. They're taking shit yeah. that's going to expire in a week and they take like fucking a thousand pounds of it. I'm like, bro, yeah. you don't need that you much. Should, You're a you family of two. MREs, bro. Like that, that would have been you way eat better. the fucking ramen and the spaghettios and the ravioli and the baked beans. And here, okay, I'm just going to put this out. That shit will at least last for a year and a half. I I really hope this goes viral so everyone in the world can see what I'm about to say, okay? If you buy all the necessities and you prep and you have a big old storage shed full of everything you could possibly need, when shit hits the fan, I'm going to fucking kill you and take it. So Hmm. you better be prepared. You better know how to fight. You better have a gun. And you better not be Mr. Joe Biden's best friend because he's trying to take that from you. If he takes your guns, guess what? I get all your food. Okay? So remember that. When you think, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to panic and buy everything I need because it's the end of the world. But yet, let me go vote for gun control. For more of this so-called safety measures because the government can protect us. The government can't pro- fucking protect you. You can't protect yourself from your neighbors, okay? So when that shit hits the fan, remember, if you don't have a gun and you're not ready to kill somebody, when it gets down to it, you're the one who's going to die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Simple as I that. Mean, I dude. agree with you, dude. And if you guys Same haven't thing. checked it out, Warrior Poet Society, check him out on fucking YouTube, dude. This guy, it's, and people don't understand. If shit hits the fan, the number one concern is going to be security. It's not about how much you have prepared because if someone really wants it, they're going to fucking take it if you're not ready for it. Exactly. Has anybody ever seen a movie? And, I, and people I mean, don't seriously, understand this. Have you they seen really apocalyptic don't. movies? Look at every civilization. That shit ever. happens. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not, whether you like the winner. The winner is the winner, okay? Whoever mm-hmm. is stronger, bigger, faster, better trained, smarter, they're going to win because they put in the preparation and they put in the fucking work. If you just sit back and let Uncle Sam do all the work for you and and hope that he keeps you safe and hope that there's food on the shelves at the grocery store, 
you're fucked. And if someone else invades and, and looks like China is fucking gearing up, dude, because I don't know if you've been paying attention to China's uh, Navy. They're they're ramping up fast and they control a lot of our fucking a lot of our trade. And the thing is, if China wanted to dude, imagine if China just decides one day, hey, you know what? Fuck America. We're going to go to war. You think yeah, America is ready for that right now? Much. They dude, love America, basketball too much. America is in trouble. I'll tell you that right now, dude. Yeah, China, China, lo China loves the NBA too much. <laughs> to, to, to stop. The, that's the thing. What if they love it so much they want to come own it? They just they just come over here and they take control of it. What's the stop? Yeah, I don't man? think that'll happen though. I I honestly see a country invading America. I see it happening. And yeah, I, just... I would say it could even be within our lifetime or the lifetime of our kids if we keep on the path we are. It'll happen, especially if one of these presidents coming up wants to take gun control to the next step. If we go in the direction of like Australia or one of these other like countries, it's like, oh no, you have Australia to be a part UK of a club or... and make, they make shit so difficult to own a weapon. If it, it, which I don't think it will get to that point because there'll literally be a civil war before that happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. But if we do have a civil <laughs> war, that's yeah. going to be the perfect time for someone to invade. Think about it. Yeah. Right? yeah. And we Just are not as third big and party, strong bro. as we think we are. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Think of a fucking video game, dude. It'd be the perfect time to third party their ass. It'll be like home front. They don't have any fucking shields, bro. They're ready to fucking get just dumped on, dude. Remember that game, home time. front? Yeah. Yeah, when North Korea invaded us, like in, in the video game. Yeah, in the game, yeah. That's People exactly... forget that we're not immune to, to war. We're not safe. We are not. And no matter how much like you power you give the government, it actually makes you less safe than if the people were to just protect themselves. And the thing is, we are, America is going to end. 100% factual, no one can disagree with that. America will come to an end eventually. The question is when. Every great civilization in all of history has come to an end. Alexander the Great, the Napoleon Empire, everything, it will come to an end. The British Empire at one point owned like three quarters of the world. Now look mm -hmm. at it. It's like this fucking big. You know, it, I'm, it's great because it survived. It's probably, you know, better off than the other ones. But think about it, dude. America is going to end eventually. It, or it, it's going to fucking the, shrink. It's going to downsize. It's going to split. of it being on top when it's not even on top. No, now, we're not even on top anymore. I know. Bro, so like, even in technology and everything, we're starting to fall behind. We've fallen behind in education. We're way behind in education. Oh, man. Oh, we yeah. are light years behind in healthcare. We are oh, yeah. now falling way behind in economics. The U.S. dollar has dropped, dropped dramatically. It's going to continue dropping. Inflation going up through the roof. The Federal Reserve is a joke and a scam. The gold, the, there is no gold standard. I don't know if you've realized that, but we have no gold backing to our U.S. dollar, which is why everyone has been so interested in crypto because crypto is, is a totally different monetary system that is not controlled by the government. It is not going to allow them to just print more whenever the fuck they feel like it to artificially keep things going, which is what we're in right now. Right now, the we have, economy we've been is in that being, for a while. Yeah. Yeah. We have been in a, in a, in a, in a bubble that is only being prevented from popping because they keep throwing money at it, throwing money at it. But the problem is, is eventually people are going to realize that this money that they're throwing is actually monopoly money. It doesn't mean shit. It's not fucking real. It's a fugazi, fugazi. It's all fucking fake. So it, it, people need to start fucking listening to Matthew McConaughey over here and start jerking it a few times a fucking day because they're going to be real stressed out when they realize that their fucking $100,000 401k isn't worth jack shit. It's not worth jack shit, dude. <laughs> Social Security, it's not even going to be there by the time we're 60. It's going to be gone. You want to read an interesting book? Check out The Power of Zero. Talks about social security and how that shit is honestly not going to be around when we're that age. There is no money. Damn. There is no money. So crypto. People are living too long. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right? And unfortunately, the people at the top aren't taking care of the people at the bottom. No, and the people at the bottom. Themselves. Huh? I said they're taking care of themselves. Well, not even, not even just that. Now they're also scamming the bottom. They're, they're shitting on the people on the bottom. And then the people on the bottom are eating that shit and asking for more. And it's like, people need to wake up, dude. They need to realize that we are in a 
fucked state right now. Extremely fucked. He got way off topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's oh, what we always do. Cancel podcast. Catch you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's how we always do. We always come off uh, fucking off topic, but it also just kind of flows. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not like we just do a full one eighty. Well, I mean, how like long can you talk about two genders? You know. Yeah, that too. There, you know? There's two of them. I wanted one, to two. read down the yeah, list done. of like how many oh, you fucking read it? Go names they say. Like this is the, the seven like the seventy two gender. The seventy two genders is what they say. Okay. Not pronouns. This is what they say. Go for it. And hold on. Like this like I, the the website is called teentalk.ca. So they're saying this like at you know, still high school level. What the fuck? Transgender two spirit side Size gender, non-binary, gender queer, gender expression, gender fluid, gender neutral. <laughs> what? Oh man. Wait, those are gender identity terms? It's like, Let's yeah, see. sorry, bro. I gotta go change uh change my shit. You know, my gender fluid's going bad. <laughs> oh man, your 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 fuck your gender queer just went out. You need to get that replaced. Did you have the warranty oh, at least God, though? Dude. I don't understand this shit. It's binary so and non-binary, dumb. like what? What are you a fucking computer? Walk around in the air one 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 zero zero. Does not identify organic, as a man synthetic. or a woman, <laughs> or solely I as one of those two form. genders. What the? F- it's ridiculous, dude. I mean, that, that's the thing. Is like, <laughs> I wanted to like really get into to like say. the pansexual and asexual. Yeah, and like, like you can't be asexual unless you were literally born like that, which. Is See, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Is really, people are really, like, really oh rare. well, rare. I don't, I don't like people. I'm, I'm a social outcast. So since I don't like people and I like to be alone, I must be asexual. It's like, <laughs> no, what the fuck? You can't. You fuck can't yourself change your gender. Baby. That's what asexual yeah, like, means. You're, what the you're fuck not a are you fucking seahorse. About? Yeah, it, it's like you can't just be a fucking unicorn because you want to be. Okay, unless you have a fucking horn in your head and wings, that, like that, fucking, that's the whole thing pissed. where, like, that's the whole thing that pisses me off. And then pansexual, what are you fucking, you are sexually attracted no, no, to no, fucking I, cookware? Know, that's what I'm saying. I was, I was saying if if you fuck pans, I'll call you. That's fine. You can be pansexual. That's totally be like, fine. dude. I, I just I you really are, like you're fuck, sexually I like attracted, coming on pan. If you're sexually attracted to cookware, I will. Allow <laughs> I mean, I've seen people that really want to fuck a car. I'm t- there's been they I've do. seen I've seen some really good looking cookware. Okay. I've I have this really nice good looking a, car. stainless steel. It's it's fucking great. Dude. It's like little grates to keep eggs from sticking. <laughs> I love it, bro. Ooh. Like when it sizzles, it gets me hot. Clean, clean up on that would be a a jiffy. It's it's a jiffy, bro. I'm dude, telling those you. Those non-stick pans amazing. Just just slides right in, bro. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> bro, absolutely uh, ridiculous, dude. Where I wanted to see the actual like, here's the list. Well, and okay. Well, it, while you're looking well, for here, that, every list is going to be different. Yeah, that, that's the other thing too. Nobody's like none of them are real. A hundred percent the same. Everything's always yeah, different, and can, they're always I adding on. I can make on. a list. I can make a list right fucking now, and it's going to be different than every list on the internet. But it'll be just uh, as viable, right? If well, I if I, <laughs> I'm shifter sexual. <laughs> Oh man, that sounds painful. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attracted to shift knobs. Because, <laughs> uh, well, since we're waiting for that, the other little topic that I want to, we could just talk about it briefly, is uh, the the state of predators and the new age of now. New age of now. Okay, what do you mean by the state of predators? <clears throat> okay, so no, no, I mean like the, <laughs> like how how predators are evolving now. Like the state of predators oh. now, but they're like okay. Mm. So me and Knuckles have been going on this real, binge. Real quick, real quick. I, I'm I'm sorry to cut in real quick. Remember how I said seventy two was on that mm-hmm. one website? Yep. There's another one, eighty six. There's oh. another one, fifty. Call and it. then, what are all the genders as of twenty twenty? <laughs> like this is <laughs> going to change by now. next year, and you're going to have exactly. to have the, a date and timestamp. 
What, what, what are the genders as of 1007? And that's the thing, no, too, is that, like, you do, you're do you going to mispronounce somebody and then you get fucking offended for no reason. Like, bro, I don't know that your fucking pronoun is car, bro. Like, And that's the thing is, like, if someone gets offended, it's because they're it's they have a fucking mental issue. Like, if, if you really get offended by some stranger talking to you, you know, like, oh, excuse me, uh, sir, can I borrow your... Oh, uh, I'm not a fucking sir. Well, sorry, you have a nutsack, so uh, excuse me for trying to be polite. But if, if you fucking get upset because someone's trying to be polite and, and address you properly, they could just say, hey, bitch, give me this shit, you know? And I, honestly, yeah. I'm all for that. I'll, I'll say that. Like, hey, motherfucker, give me that shit, you know? Get the fuck out the way, you know? That's, I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. Mm. But when, it, when somebody comes up to you and is like, hey, Excuse me, sir. Can I borrow this or this or whatever the fuck? Excuse me, sir. Can I have a subway? You know, and they get all fucking mad about it and start throwing shit all over the store. That's a fucking mental disorder, dude. That person should be locked up in fucking restraints and medicated. They should not be roaming free trying to enact regulations and laws. I just don't understand People how have this shit so backwards. I just don't understand how you could go like say someone's in your way and you say, "Excuse me, sir," and then they're like, eh, "It's ma'am." Okay, well, like. Why are you getting offended? You, you're, to me, obviously, you look, bro. You are, like a dude. You if it sound. Walks like a duck you and are like a duck. It's a fucking duck, dude. You sound like it. You, you have fucking five o'clock shadow and you have a wig on, sir. Can you get out the way? Yeah, bro. Dude. Why are you gonna get offended? If I see you walk into the fucking men's bath, into the woman's bathroom after my daughter, I'm gonna rip you out by that fucking wig and say, sir, I'm. With all due respect, I'm now going to beat the shit out of you. Okay? No, you stay the fuck out of the women's bathroom. You have a dick. Go to the men's bathroom. I don't give a fuck what you wear. You can go piss in a urinal with a dress on. Just lift the dress. Okay? That's how they used to do it. It's It doesn't fucking matter, dude. I swear to God, if I see a motherfucker with a dick trying to walk into a fucking girl's bathroom, it's, it's over, like, dude. It's like the the, the guy who sexually identified as a woman and went into and competed in the uh state championships for women's wrestling and, you and know he what? fucking dominated of course he, like he dominated to the point where it was just it was bad women try to say and they were they like just as strong like, as men she's, or she's, they are not she's just she's transitioning biologically like, i'm sorry yeah, yeah biologically a woman will never be as strong as a man if they have without if they steroids, raised, even with steroids, like if you have two people, one female and one male, and they both do the same workouts, the same cycles for the same the same amount of time using the same drugs, the man is still gonna be stronger. Always. It's just how it is. It's just how it is, and people need to accept that. And it's like, okay, well, I know a woman who can, you know, outbench you. And it's like, okay, motherfucker. They've but been training have longer her, than me. Try and out bench the fucking benching champion of the world. Okay, who is gonna be a man? All right. So that you don't understand. It, it's not you're not comparing apples to apples. You're comparing apples to oranges. Okay. If you take a, a professional female body weight champion and put her up against a five year old boy, okay, yeah, she's stronger than the boy, but that doesn't fucking apply to your fucking argument. You're taking it totally out of context. If like you put even, two of the same people up, it is not going to work. Even the world great Serena Williams, okay, mm -hmm. the one of the best tennis players to ever play the game, like to ever play it, has come out like she has said herself that if I try to go up against like Roger Federer or um I fucking forget his name the uh, Rafael Nadal, mm -hmm. like she's like, I cannot beat them in a one on one. Maybe we'll have a chance in a like two on two, and, and even but then, I would have like, to have a male, yeah, like you'd have to a be game, male, female, male, female, yeah, a game that, that has also like anything that has a bit of chance in it, right? So if you're like, oh, well, this woman can out gamble this guy, sure. If it's oh, like yeah. a, a like chess, you know, things like that, if that video are, games are the same smarts. way, like video, yeah. like video games are like different. Video games, yeah, it's like even it's it's field. way it's way even, even there too. When we're we're talking about when things are physical, when yeah. it comes to like lifting weights, playing football, you know, 
things like that where like okay that's a dangerous let's put, one let's put any woman any woman in the world in the nfl well, and see how well that goes it ain't gonna go well at all let's see how fucking well, well she's that goes. gonna get killed yeah. she's gonna get fucking murdered talk murdered. about cte no, talk about Any murder. motherfucking woman who says, <laughs> oh, women are just as strong as men, please murder. join the NFL and see how that goes. Yeah. Okay? I murder. swear to God, people do not understand the, the actual fucking science behind this. And then those same people are like, well, um, oh, science is... what I, I don't believe in religion, you know? I, the science is the only thing I believe in. I only believe in science. And it's like, bro, if you only believe in science, in science, why the fuck do you think women are as strong as men? They're not, and they well, never will be. And that's okay. That's and that, okay. And the, I, I, because in different so, aspects, they are stronger. So I, yeah, they you know, they handle pain way better. So I was oh, yeah. a, I was on the wrestling team in high school, and um, another high school. My high school never allowed girls on the on the wrestling team, but we had you know a couple wrestling teams or, or a couple of high schools that let girls on the team, and um, one of them was in my fucking. Uh, weight class so i got to wrestle her <laughs> and it's yeah. just dude yeah. it's, it's just unfair it's it shouldn't fucked even, up it's, it's fucked it's, up like dude, i'm over here look at the mat and then the, my, my coach is over here yelling in my ear fucking uh do the peanut butter screwdriver bro let me stick the finger up the ass do you know what i'm saying like <laughs> <laughs> and see that's the problem dude is you can't have women in men's sports they just do not work she's okay? gonna be dealing with like for like, one especially at high school level they're gonna be dealing with the fucking imagine Imagine the sexual assault allegations, bro. That's what I'm saying, like, bro. You, you cannot can't even... have men and women in, in contact sports together. Bro, I couldn't the, even the, the it just I just felt so wrong. But dude, thing. either way, I just feel like no, I went for wrong. a double it is and wrong. pinned her immediately because I'm just uh, ten times stronger than this girl. And see, here's the thing, there's two types of people, okay? There's the people who are like, I can't, I can never touch a woman, I can never hurt a woman, I can never do this, this, and that. I would never lay a hand on a woman. Then there's a type of dude who's like equality, you know? If she wants equal rights, she's going to get equal lefts. And, you know, that's fine. I, I'm, I, that's me, bro. Like, if a bitch wants to swing at me, I'll knock you the fuck out, dude. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. That's why I don't understand why they want equal rights on some things, but not on others. And it's like, you cannot be that's like, oh, feminism, well, though. I want to play. Yeah, I want to play all these men's sports and have contact and, and this and this and that. And then you when don't. something happens, they're like, oh, sexual assault. And then if you don't automatically believe them, even if it's a complete fucking lie, then you're a racist, homophobic, Nazi, misogynist who, who is also a pedophile somehow. Yeah. It makes no fucking sense, dude. Like this whole Me Too thing. That shit blew the fuck up right in their faces, dude. That set feminism back like 100 years. Easy. That was the worst. Well, it was it was world. all of the it was all of the really really bad accusations. Every, the ones uh, that were like all the lies um, started coming he out. He touched my hand when shit. he gave me the coffee. I like I don't agree Th with that. Th this really high you know ranking politician or celebrity may may have you know done something to me at a party 20, 30 years ago, but I only now decided to say something. What no. he do? Oh, no, he he here. touched my lower back, and I wasn't. I didn't like. Fuck that. out of here! Like that. If if there is no record from when it, ha which is why we have uh, what's it called the st uh, statute of limitations, mm -hmm. and also why there needs to be some kind of evidence because anyone can just go out and say, oh, you know what? I went to a party with this guy thirty years ago, and he put his thumb in my butt. <laughs> There's no evidence. Well, that's sexual assault. But well, you that's know. actually sodomy. That's worse. But uh, fucking. There's no if there's no evidence, how are you going to have a trial? How are you going to actually prove? Let's say that it did happen. Maybe he did put his thumb in your butt. How the fuck are you going to prove that? How are you going to do and why did you wait 30 plus fucking years to do it? When that person is now going up for some kind of, you know, nomination or they just got famous and made millions of dollars, it you look fucking bad, you look fucking dumb. And it yeah. shows so you're doing it for the wrong reason. You didn't actually give a fuck that they put a thumb in your butt. You just want the money and the because recognition. It is or because it's to smear that person. Traumatizing. It's always a smear campaign. That's what it is. And it's always when one of these people tries to go up for some like political yeah, dude, it's, or like celebrity. It's all blackmail. Spot, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, people come out of the woodworks. If you don't, if you cannot see, if you cannot realize that that is blackmail and it is fraudulent. 
you're a fucking idiot. Like, like, uh, if there was an issue, it would have come out way before. Like, like exactly. that thing, that thing, that accusation that happened with Jake Paul. You, you heard about that? that? Yeah, there. Right, right, yeah, right yeah, before. That's still like right before still his like, fight. Like right, yeah. like right when the fight, the the week of the fight, this girl came out and was like, "This Jake Paul fucking stuck his dick in his mouth," and thirty seconds later, busted all over my mouth by force. What? Yeah, and 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 I guess it, his I guess his legal team is like we're gonna fucking go after her for defamation of character or whatever, and she's oh, so still they, saying so they, that. That that's wait, what so that's what they said, but she, she she's uh, she's, she's saying that she's never been contacted co- or contacted at all. Yeah. That she knows she knows the know truth. They case. know the truth. That's but why like they are but here's the thing. Her. She said she said that she didn't know what happened. She said that it, was, it all happened so fast she couldn't even like rec- like like realize what I mean, happened unless, that she got raped or something she was you know drugged I mean? no dude yeah she, maybe, maybe she was she, drugged she wasn't even drugged could, could have been so how do you not realize the dicks in your mouth yeah how do you not realize what the taste of semen i don't is? know that, that doesn't sound like it makes sense to me i don't know the details but there are lots of events uh and these have already been proven and they've already been even there are some women who have been actually thrown in jail or prison for this same shit they come up with some bullshit fucking lie for some false accusations to try and get money from either some or to to actually fuck someone up. I, I remember what reading a story about um it was a kid in college and he was on his way to uh, the NFL and she decided to come up with some bullshit accusation because he dumped her. He dumped her so he can go play in the NFL. She came up with some bullshit accusation to get him all fucking drugged through the mud. Oh, and, yeah, I, I, he I lost. Story. Yeah, Which he one? lost his fucking contract. He lost his scholarship he was while jail. he was in college. He went to jail. And then afterwards, she admitted oh, that it was all a fucking lie. I know like what you're talking about. How the fuck can you drag someone through the mud? How can you put someone in jail, take their scholarship, take their opportunities to a career, all with zero evidence for something that never happened? That what, is what year was that That's again? sexism. I don't remember was the year. It was a few years back. But that is sexism. Believing someone before there is any evidence is the sign of, of a totalitarian country. When you are guilty until proven innocent. And that is the problem with the American judicial system. We are supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. But in all of this bullshit that's happened in the last few years, and, and honestly for a while, we are now guilty until proven innocent. Especially when it comes to sexual uh, assault or any kind of issues where, where females are involved. For some reason, which is fucked beyond belief, in any like paternity case, any sexual assault or rape case, automatically you are guilty until proven innocent, which is fucked, it's wrong, it's sexist, and it needs to stop. And on that note, we are reaching our hour point. Yes, we are. So I think we're going to call it a night for there, guys. I hope this was uh, enough, you know, ammunition for you to cancel us in the future. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Real quick, let's talk about uh, child predators. They should all burn in hell. Yeah, I know. Rapists, <laughs> nice and quick. I get, real quick, uh, if you are charged and found to be guilty of rape, you should be castrated, have your nuts and dick chopped off, hung from your toes, and beaten to death with a stick. Actually, you should let the, the father of the or the mother, whoever oh, yeah. uh, is there, oh, yeah. of that yeah. person, do the beating. Weapon of choice. Okay? It should be left to the family. The family should be able to torture and kill that person, in my opinion. You know, like one of those rage rooms where you get to break TVs and shit? Yeah, just throw mm-hmm. them in there. Yeah, because I'll tell you right now, that shit ever happens to my kids. Oh, yeah. There will never there's, be a police report. No, it's no fucking chance. That person will just disappear. We're going to end the Uncanceled pod- podcast for tonight, guys. We're going to have this every week. We're doing it, what, Sundays, 9 p.m., right? 9 p.m. 9 p.m. 9 p.m., okay. Okay, me That's when we're recording them. We're, we're going to try and maybe even post them at the same time, so we're like a week ahead. But if you guys enjoy this kind of content, please like the video, because that's the only way we'll be able to see if you guys actually like it. If you dislike it, please do the same. That way we know which one of you Amen. are you know, fucking pushing. Let us know but than- <laughs> how stupid we are. Yeah, comment, dude. To talk shit. Let's do it. Talk the comment shit to section us, we'll, is going to be you, a fucking shit show. You mention us, like we'll respond. 
Hey, I'll try and respond I'll, as many people as I can. I'll I'll set you straight. I'll talk shit to you. I don't give a fuck. I'll, but that's I'll, all for I mean, tonight, guys. Uh, you guys can follow me on uh, YouTube, Just Grizz, or the Grizzly Guild, and on Twitch as well as the Grizzly Guild. Uh, you can follow me, uh, Easy Mac, on everything: Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social medias. All Easy Mac. And you can follow me on Twitch and all social medias at I I Knuckles. Uh, spelled with only one K, not two. <laughs> nucleus. <laughs> it's, it's spelled I I nucleus. No, he'll he'll I, I put nucleus. it he'll put it right here. So it's okay. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. You have a good one. Good night. Good night. Later, guys.